and his mother, the teen mother, called everybody into the little pool house to, like, eat hot dogs or whatever it was. And so we all went in there, and in my mind, I'm watching all these other little kids swimming in the deep side of the pool, and I'm like, I can do that. You know, I'm invincible. I didn't understand uh, dying. I didn't get that concept at that age. And so when everybody's in this pool house eating, I slip out of the door, and I jump in the deep side of the pool. I remember like it was yesterday. And immediately when I got in the pool, this, this was, let me tell you how young I was and how ignorant I was. Um, this was before I even started opening up my eyes underneath the water. Yeah, that's how ignorant I was. So I jumped in the deep side of this pool. Nobody the wiser. Everybody's inside. Nobody see that I slipped out. I jumped in the deep side, and within a second and a half, I realized that this is bad. Okay? My eyes are closed. Okay? And so I'm seven years old. It's 1977, and I'm splashing around in the water, you know, trying to, you know, emulate what I see people doing swimming. I can't swim, but that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what I've seen these other little kids doing. And this is God is my witness. And so I'm flashing, uh, splashing my arms, and I realize that I, I, I'm not doing anything, and I'm under this water. I knew how to hold my breath, and I'm under this water, and I'm like, um, this is bad. And probably five, six, seven seconds of that, man, and somehow, by the grace of God, I don't know how many more seconds I could have held my breath, man. Uh, I throw out my arm one more time. And I catch the side of the pool. No lie. I catch the side of the pool. I pull myself up. And when I pull myself up, I'm so scared and I'm breathing so hard. And I'm looking around. Really, I'm scared. Not the fact that I probably was, you know, the closest point to death ever in the history of my life. But I'm scared because... Clearly, I was struggling, and I realized that what I was doing was wrong. And so I, I pull myself to the side of the pool, and I look around, and there's still nobody out there. Nobody even knows that I left the damn pool house. Nobody even knows that I even slipped out of the door into, uh, from the pool house and jumped in this water. And I, 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 I kind of run back inside. Um, I slip back in the door. No one even notices me coming back into the pool house. And I have a hot dog, and the rest is history. And 40 years later, praise his holy name, I am still here. True story. True story. Let me tell you how serious this thing was. Let me tell you how scared I was. I didn't tell my mother this story till I know I was in my 30s. Because that's how distraught, that's how upset it would have made her I kept this thing to myself I told like a couple of my friends um you know when you're sitting around drinking you're telling stories I told a couple of my friends but I didn't tell my mother this story until I was like in my 30s I know I was in my 30s and uh I mean she was just speechless I mean like we're talking 1977 this happened and I didn't tell my mother this story till this is 2015 to probably the early 2000s true story you got to be careful around that water, man. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Rest in peace to uh, Jose Fernandez. All right, let's get out of here. You going to eat your beans and cornbread? Yes. It's yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Doug Stewart Show, man. Shouts out to my producers, Waterhead, Walter, Poe Politicking, my engineers, Dwayne Vassan, Gerald Oliveri. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Special shouts out to my man, Pink Gator. Him and Beans and Cornbread for this hot-ass track right here. I'm a cute. Yes, sir. And a special shout out to all of the Stewies, man. Without you, there would be no me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, um, do me a favor. Hit the like button. All right. Hit the like button saying you like the show. The little heart button on Spreaker.com. And tell one person. 
You know, there's this little feature on Spreaker where you can email or text somebody the link to today's show. Do me a favor and test, text somebody or email somebody with that particular feature uh, the link to today's show that you think like sports and guy talk in general. I really would appreciate it, all right? We'll be back tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel. Be careful on them streets, man. I'm a cute when I was knee high, I tend to be a cute. And now I'm 25, damn right. I'm a cute. And a step show one day, I'm a cute. Yeah, when we get second place, I'm a cute. Break my LB, dust them off, I'm a cute. Drop chicken on the floor, brush it off, I'm a cute. Oh, I am still out, hanging with the cues. I'm a cute. I'm a cute. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it's your grown man roll with the cues. Yeah, I guess by now y'all can tell I'm a cute. Ain't trying to talk down, just saying I'm a cute. I still got love for the those who ain't cute. Some of my tightest partners ain't no cues. They know one thing for sure, I'm a cute. Duty calls gotta go, no offense, I'm a cute. And they got my backstage line for the cues. I'm a cute, I'm a cute. Mama told me long time ago about them cues. Told me I could go Greek, but don't be a cute. It was in my nature to go and be a girl. Even in preschool, mama knew I was a girl. Girl, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Teacher, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Cops so ID, I tell them I'm a cute. I'm a cute, I'm a cute. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. Hey, you know it's how your it is when you roll. Yes, bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. Hey. If you ain't a bro, hey. don't throw up your hooks. Even if you ain't no cues, respect them and jam it, baby. Cause it's time to love. If you ain't a bro, don't throw up your hooks. Bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. If you ain't a bro, don't throw up the hooks. Girls in the club don't know what the hooks. If you ain't a bro, don't know what the hooks. But you know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is.